Hey guys, it is Cool Coach here, and um, I am bringing you a Team Deathmatch game of mine. It's an MPO with the grip, a sp Python speaker loader, with Scavenger Steady Aim, and Hacker Pro. Now, what I want to talk about today is the ups and downs of um, a game like Team Deathmatch or Free For All. Because these are one of my least favorite games. I mean, the, both of them, too. The two of my. Now, I like both of them, yet. I would prefer an objective-based game over them. <coughs> but, unlike objective games, you know, this one, some, something like Team Deathmatch, you have to be, um, the team savvy. You have to have a whole bunch of, you know, competitive players with you. <coughs> now, um, so, something, something like that, uh, team players, so, uh, that's something that an objective-based game sometimes might not bring, you know, um, they might just have players who just want to, want to, um, I don't know how else to say it, but they just want to, you know, run around and get kills or, or just act like idiots. So, Team Deathmatch, um, it's very team, um, you know, it, it's driven by, by teammates, and so that, that's one, definitely one of the ups. Now, however, this can also be a down. Because if you have someone who keeps running out there, spinning in circles, <laughs> just to kill themselves, that is a gigantic problem. Which is sometimes why I prefer domination. Because in domination, you can't really have one person completely ruin it. So, <clears throat> so that's it's just one thing to think about. But so there's an up and down in having a game that's team team savvy. So, um. Another up is that you will, um, you know, if you if you're good and all you're doing is looking for kills, this is definitely a game for you because if you if you're like a great player or something, um, who who's used to something like this, then it, you know it helps out a lot. Now me, I am not used to something such as team deathmatch. I'm used to like domination or demolition. This is kind of outlandish for me, <laughs> but um, so um, but well, I said a few downers, and um, another downer is that you can um, as I said, it is as this can be a team-based game. If you have a whole bunch of, uh, if the enemy team is like a group of of people, they will move in a group just get those kills that they possibly could and um now uh since i talked about a few ups and downs i mean uh, there's there's probably more but i'm going to talk about a little ups and downs of free-for-all because there's not much to say um for both of them actually because they're such simple you know simple games now free-for-all there are only two ups that i could possibly bring to the table and um so I know there's a whole bunch of people doing commentaries, but I find that I, I dislike free-for-all, so I'm different than most people. And I'm actually going to try to upload a video of me playing free-for-all to show you how much I dislike free-for-all. It was not going to be something where I like, completely lose to prove my point, but <coughs> I'm just going to talk about it. Now, <coughs> excuse me, but um... So one of the ups of playing something like free for all are um, you are against more people, and so it's it's kind of and not only that a teammate cannot completely ruin it for you. You will not have a teammate running out there to get himself killed, <clears throat> and so and that's enough. But a downer is if there's still someone who's acting like an idiot, giving other people free kills. Now sometimes. That also may be enough because then they may give you free kills, but um, that's highly unlikely because there's you know seven other pe uh, six other people besides that one person if you're playing uh, in a full in a full lobby. <coughs> so um, another up uh, uh, pro is um, that if you if if you really need to get better. I'm not gonna lie, I think free for all is a game that definitely gets you better in, in awareness. Because <clears throat> it has it has you looking around and because people can spawn from any point at any time. Not only that, if you're being surrounded by 
whole, a whole bunch of people, then, um, you know, there's a big chance that you're going to get, you know, quite a few kills if you're able to move fast enough. So that's another thing. Um, you know, not a lot of people use um, tin sensitivity, I've noticed. So, well, yeah, not a lot of people. And so I think that if you use tin sensitivity, it'll help a lot. And so, you know, you spinning around and stuff. So I think it'd help because then it's going to get you to um, move up in sensitivity. Now, what I did with moving up in sensitivity was I, um, I started at 5. Even, even then, it was a little crazy for me for some reason. So I started at 5, and then whenever I kind of got used to 5, then I went to 6. Then when I got used to 6, then I went to 7. And then, you know, so on and so forth until I finally went to 10. Now, <coughs> so there, there are definitely a few, few uppers in it. Now, one of the downs is that spawn is not the best thing. You need to watch out for, for people who, who know where certain places are and um, things such as that. So, so this is nearing the end. I want you to tell me about um, you know what your opinions are on, on certain games or what games I should play and then give my opinions on how the you know like ups and downs of the game. So guys, there are only 30 seconds left of this game. Alright, I thank you very much for watching this video. It makes me happy. Um, so, last year's score is 16 to 9. Um, so definitely not my best game, but, you know, just pr trying to prove my point a little. So, <coughs> you know that I suck at Team Deathmatch. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please, um, favorite, like, subscribe, do anything that may help me. Um, I love you guys, thank you, and goodbye.